Hi guys, I'm Nina and in this video I will tell you how to create a simple 3D art so you could impress your friends or family or both. So remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more videos and let's start the tutorial. So these are the materials I will need. A ruler, compasses, a black pencil or a black marker, a soft graphite pencil, for example, 4B, and a white pencil. And an eraser, of course, mine is kneadable. So I'm starting with drawing a circle in the middle of my paper. If you're curious how big my circle, it's 12 centimeters. Then I'm drawing a line that's coming from the bottom right, from the bottom right, but not from the corner of my paper. The line uh, actually ends up uh, a little higher. Then I'm putting three marks on this line: one centimeter, one and a half, and two centimeters. And um, the starting point for all of these marks is where the rim and the line meet. Might sound complicated, but I'm making some notes on my drawing, so you will understand. Then I'm taking my compasses again, uh, setting them... Can you even say that? I don't know, guys, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna say it like that. I'm setting them on 6 cm and drawing a curve from the 1 cm mark. Then I'm setting the compasses on 5 cm and drawing one more curve from the 1.5 cm mark. And then I'm setting them again on 4 cm and drawing a curve from the 2 cm mark. When you start doing it, it's simple. It isn't complicated at all, but I do understand that all these numbers can mess things up. Well, it's time to erase the lines we don't need and let's make it look 3D. So now we have four parts inside of our circle. First of all, take a black pencil or a black marker or a black pen and define this circle. Then uh, fill the left part with black color like I'm doing it right now. I'm using a black marker here because I think it's faster. And so we have to do the same with the third part. So we're kind of skipping one, you know, it's gonna be white. You're probably checking if it already looks 3D, but to be honest, it looks 3D the most only through your phone camera and maybe even in certain lighting, I don't know. But we're not done yet and it's gonna get more interesting. So now I'm taking a pencil and shading the white part starting from the top. I need to create a smooth gradient, so I will be using a blending tool. Don't worry if you have none, uh, check out my tutorial on how to make your own blending tool at home or take a Q-tip. I'll be using a flat makeup brush for it, I think it's the best blending tool ever and I'm really recommending you guys to get one if you don't have it yet. Work with your pressure control. The lightest strokes are in the middle 
and the dense ones are on top. It's not a bad idea to take a black pencil for the darkest area. Okay, and the last thing we need is to shade the black parts with the white pencil. I'm also trying to create like a smooth gradient, like a smooth fading, but from the bottom this time. And that's kind of it guys, 3D art is not uh, hard, uh, yeah, this is the slogan of my tutorial, 3D art isn't hard, and it's really fun to create, it's fun to make it, so go ahead and try it out with your friends or kids or, I don't know, pets. Anyways, it was really fun and simple, and I'm really hoping to see your works if you use this hashtag on Instagram. 
So this is the end of my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And I really think it was pretty simple for this big and complicated branch of art. So remember to hit the like button and make sure to follow up. And see you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye!